Good morning. Today is the 19th of May and it's time for another one of the, the very vague vlogs. Quite a lot of these seem to quite like these so we'll uh, keep going with them. This time I'm in the 2008 Vauxhall Astra Twin Top and um, I'm going to be alternating between having a window open and running the air conditioning so if the fan gets a bit loud on the motorway then I apologise in advance. So today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. First of which is the return of the London Ultra Low Emission Zone after the video yesterday which talked about the return of congestion charge. And then secondly, we're going to be talking about a potential uh, replacement that will be for this car. So this Astra is still for sale. There's a link to the auto advert down below. The Rover 216 that I uh, that I had for a few months that was going to be the Santa Pod and ended up not being. That's been sold and it is a little bit sad but there we go um, it's gone it's gone to a, a, a collection um, of other rover r8s in the west midlands and um, the gentleman who came to pick her up seemed very happy with her indeed which is fantastic i'm really pleased about that and i think um i think he is as well so that one's gone However, we need to think about uh, what potentially is going to replace the, uh, the Astra and when that goes as well. And uh, Mr. Coleman and I have been hatching another plan, as we sometimes do. And um, we can't act immediately because of the travel restrictions and social distancing restrictions that are currently in place. So. What we're going to do is announce that as it goes it might not come to anything we've got a potential plan for next month um the car in question that we've identified i actually used to own one it wasn't this exact version but i did used to own one i'm not going to tell you what that is you'll just have to guess So what about this um, ultra low emission zone and the return of it? What about that? As you know, the ultra low emission zone has been a topic of conversation on my YouTube channel for an awfully long time now. The first video I made on it was in Jan no, October 2018. It was one of the first videos on the channel. and. I believe there's actually people who are still watching the channel who found out about it from that video, which amazes me. It was a quick, under four minute video that I did probably either in Rover 25 that I had briefly at the time, or BMG, and it became really popular. There were loads of people on there who said, I've never even heard of the Ultra Low Emission Zone, I don't know what it is, and um, that has always amazed me, but the little video that I did, which didn't really take a lot of effort at all, has become one of the sort of staples of the kind of topics I talk about on the channel. I've done several others, loads of others in fact, and um, you know, I hope that have been useful to you, but the essential thing at the moment that you need to know, other than the congestion charge coming back and it being longer hours and also being more expensive from the 22nd of June, is that the, the ultra low emission zone, which always was the same area as the congestion charge zone, that has been returned as well. Now, it's about to get more extensive and it's 
going to be not the boundary from the Eston Charge Zone, but the boundary of the North and South Circular from October 2021. So it will be a much, much bigger zone in less than 18 months' time. The cars which are compliant with it are diesels that meet Euro 6 regulations, generally those made after September 2015, although there are a number of cars made before that that actually are compliant as well. And for petrols, it's Euro 4 petrols, so it's mostly those made after Jan January 2006, although there are an awful lot of Euro 4 petrols that came before that. Got um, cars like post-2003 Rovers for K-Series engines, lots and lots of Volkswagens, Hondas, Toyotas, loads of them. So if you've got a car for anywhere from 2001 onwards that you're thinking of buying or you currently own and you want to know if it's ultra emission zone compliant, which is just the petrol I'm talking about now, there's a, a government checker to see if your car is eligible for it. If it isn't eligible, then you'll be paying, I think it's £12 per day, 24 hours a day to drive in that zone. And at the moment, obviously, it's the gas charge zone. And from next October, it'll be anywhere in the boundaries of the north to south circular. So that certain people get a discount, residents get a 90% discount. This was my cousin who lives in um, in Chiswick, and he's actually inside the, the south, the north circular where he is, north circular Chiswick. Um, but everyone else, yeah, you've got to pay um, if your car doesn't... Um, doesn't meet that requirement. As one of my regular viewers has pointed out to me, the emission zone is likely to go further. They've talked about extending it to Heathrow Airport and all kinds of things like that and talked about making it more stringent. Clearly in other towns, uh, Bristol, Birmingham, Brighton, I could name others as well. There are other ultra low emission and clean air zones on their way. And it just, um, you know, depends on when they're going to introduce, introduce them. Bristol one was mooted at the end of last year. Um, I don't know if, when they're going to bring that out. Obviously, there are other things on people's minds at the moment, other than the low emission zones to introduce. So, yes, that's just the same situation. Um, Pedestrian charge, that's back. It's going to be more expensive. Apparently, it's just for trial period, and um, and also there are people who are exempt from it, such as NHS staff. I didn't go into too much about that um, yesterday, but that apparently is the case. The congestion charge doesn't have to be paid by absolutely everyone. So that's about that's about that. What about this car? since the Rover has gone, we were using that quite a lot um, on a daily basis. Let me just, there we go. <laughs> just leave the last air a little bit more. I've got to have the windows all closed, otherwise you won't be able to hear me very well. Um, I like this car. I like the smile it puts on my face when I drive it. And um, particularly this one's been lightly modified. So we've got, oh, of induction noise, stainless steel tubular manifold, swell flap has been deleted on this car and it gives you a, a, a bit of extra power, not the huge amount but a bit of extra power over the standard 140 horsepower and um, gives you better economy as well actually slightly. The car's got it, a few issues, I've detailed them in a previous video on a walk around the car, um, but it's not really that bad, I mean I'm only asking at the moment how much is it, £1,250 for this car, it's not a lot of money really, and it's just had a, um, it's had a cam belt, it's had a cylinder head gasket, water pump, thermostat housing, new tyre, it was fully serviced a while ago, new coolant level sensor, new expansion tank. Well, we've done a lot of work to this car and it is a shame to sort of see it go, but 
I um, I think I miss ha having a set type of car, and so um, yeah, that's what we're moving towards getting to replace it. So I've just um, reasoned my journey today. I've been I've driven from Eastleigh to um, the supermarket near where my mother lives because she needs some things. I need to go and see her anyway as part of what I would normally do throughout the week, see what's going on with, with the properties um, at the moment and just make sure we're all up to date with that. Of course we're going to be reversing into a parking space because that's what we always do in these videos. So thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Um, please don't complain about the sort of sound or off the camera is jerky. There's nothing I can do about it. And as I've said before, um, there is obviously um, the, um, the, the fact that the, the bit of the mount's in the way. Again, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just the way that it is. Um, you can visit my Instagram page, instagram.com forward slash Lloyd, the, Lloyd underscore vehicle under, forward slash Lloyd underscore vehicle underscore consulting. Sorry, so I thought I was, was going to be hit by someone in Citroen um, C4 Cactus there, um, which didn't happen, praise the Lord. Um, and also Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd vehicle consulting. Once I've actually straightened up in this space, then we will draw this video to an end. Right, here we go.